According to statistics, only a small percentage of you who watch our videos are actually subscribed. So if you haven't, and at the end of the video you enjoy what you see, do consider subscribing. It would help a lot with YouTube's algorithm in promoting more of our mental health content. Thanks for being here. Hey Psych2Goers, welcome back to another video. To start off, we'd like to thank you for all the support that you've given us. Psych2Go's mission is to help everyone learn about psychology and mental health in a digestible way, and you help us do that. So thanks again. Now let's begin. Have you heard of the term emotional neediness? While it may sound negative, it just means that you may have the tendency to depend on others a little too much to validate or approve of you or your emotions. It's important to know that some level of neediness is part of human nature, and many of the signs that may make someone overly needy are not their fault. So with that said, here are six signs you may be too emotionally needy. We'd like to mention that this video is for educational purposes only and is not intended to target or shame those who may be emotionally needy, but to help everyone understand why we feel the way we feel. If you find yourself relating to the points we mentioned, remember to be kind to yourself. And remember that you can always work towards correcting or improving upon behaviors that might make you too needy. Number one, you have an unhealthy attachment style. Did you know that your attachment style can affect your emotional needs? An attachment style describes the way you behave in your relationships with others. According to your tango, those with avoidant or anxious attachment styles may come off as more emotionally needy than others, especially in their romantic relationships. Both of these attachment styles involve feelings of insecurity, which may explain why you may be more emotionally needy compared to those with a secure attachment style. Number two, you're unsure of yourself. Are you always unsure of how you feel? According to psychologist Marcia Reynolds from Psychology Today, if you find yourself with a lot of unmet or undesired emotional needs, it could be because you still haven't tapped into those emotions yourself. Journaling your thoughts and emotions as soon as they reach the surface may help you become more independent when it comes to fulfilling your emotional needs. Number three, you suffer from anxiety. Did you know that emotional neediness could also be a manifestation of anxiety? According to San Jose Anxiety Counseling, what may come across as clinginess or neediness could actually be anxiety. Some people with anxiety feel an overwhelming need for reassurance in their relationships. And whether they're conscious of it or not, it can very easily translate into emotional neediness. Number four, you have trust issues. Are you always questioning the people close to you? As it turns out, jealousy and feelings of abandonment in your relationships are pretty strong signs of emotional neediness. Both of these habits can be rooted in trust issues that may have developed from past trauma or betrayal. When you have a hard time trusting your friends or partner, it's easy for you to develop feelings of jealousy and uneasiness towards your friendship. Number five, you doubt yourself. Do you move through life with an underlying fear of failure? According to mind fitness expert, Luca Bozerghi, there are many potential causes of emotional neediness in adults, but a common theme is an abundance of self-doubt due to potential fear, anxiety, and issues with confidence. Doubting yourself may manifest into emotional neediness because it may cause you to lose faith in your ability to be independent and self-sufficient when it comes to your emotions. And number six, you're indecisive. Are you always struggling to make decisions on your own? Maybe you always have to consult with others before feeling confident in your beliefs. This indecisiveness is often a sign of emotional neediness because it reflects a lack of emotional independence. In order to be a decisive person, you need to be confident in your emotions and be able to express them without too much doubt. We hope you enjoyed learning about some of the signs of emotional neediness. Do you relate to any of the signs mentioned here? Tell us about it in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it with others who may find it helpful too. Don't forget to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever we post a new video. All the references used are also added in the description below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next one.